my gosh. What's up everybody? Before I begin, here's a word from my sponsor. Let's go stand over there and tell them something. What, over here? Yeah, that's fine. What do you want me to say? Anything you want, you're the sponsor. So for this video, I'm gonna need some straws, an amplifier, an empty bottle, and a big old bass speaker. So this right here is my soldering iron. And to use this, all I do is press this down, the end of it lights up, and then this switch here, this I flick to the left and it stays on. But if I don't want to use it as a soldering iron, what I can do is I can unwind this, take that off and use it as a blowtorch. So here's a close up of the end. And to take that off, I've got to use this. And there we go, that's how you loosen it. And now we have a torch. It's a nice hot blue flame, so you can just about see it. And it also comes with other but and it also comes with a bunch of other attachments which I barely use. Although I think I might try that one. There we go, check that out. So I kind of have an idea of where I want this video to go. So I kind of have an idea of where I want this bottle to go. And what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna melt a little hole in this, which will then fit the straw. So here we go, this is how I turn this on. The hot air comes out of this hole. So this will heat up pretty quickly and then what I'll do is I'll make the hole and move on to the next part of the video. So that should be enough, I think. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Weird. It's grown some hair. That actually did feel like hair. Um, strange. I haven't planned this video out. I never plan out my videos. I just, I'll just do them. Right, so it needs to be a bit bigger. That's what she said. Close, but no cigar. Hey, that should do nicely. And then what I'll do is I'll just patch up any gaps with some hot glue. So I guess that's something else I'll need. So this will be placed on the edge of the sub box. And then this straw is gonna hang down and I might need to attach another straw to this end. So what I'll do next is I'll seal up any gaps there and that should be good enough. And uh, on to the next bit. What I'll do is I'll put a blob of glue on there and that should be that, hopefully. There we go, that wasn't messy at all, was it? Maybe I should hold this in place slightly. Oh, bollocks. So here we go, and I've added an extra straw onto the end. So here we have the speaker ready to be taken out of the box again, and I'm not gonna completely take it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it out. The wires that are attached to it, which I attached in a previous video, what I'll do is I'll feed them through the port, that hole on the side, and then I'll connect the wires to the amplifier. And the reason I'm gonna bypass the amplifier that's already connected to this box is because the amplifier that's connected to the box, that amplifier will barely produce frequencies that I'm after. And if you wanted to know what? And if you wanted to know what? No, f it. And if you wanted to know more about what I just said, check out that link. So you see how that logo's the wrong way around? That means the speaker's the wrong way around. Duh. I only realized that when I came to put in the thumbnail for the previous video together. I actually took the picture of this and as I was taking the picture, with the cat stood next to it. I was like, what? I didn't even think about having to take a picture afterwards for the thumbnail. So for that reason, I thank Photoshop. Maybe I should be thanking Adobe. Anyway, um, let's take this out. Uh, that was easy and... That was a funky sound. Luckily I didn't put the screws fully in, so I don't have to work too hard. Although there's quite a few screws, so that's annoying. Hopefully the wire I connected is long enough. Yeah, it looks like it's long enough. That's what she said. <laughs> Luckily the speaker doesn't weigh a ton, so I don't have to struggle too much. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it there though, because then you won't be able to see, will you? Now it's just a matter of feeding the wire through the port. When is it gonna pop out the other end? Ah, there it is. So now I'm gonna put this back in like so. Maybe face it the right way up. And that way I don't have to use Photoshop when I make the thumbnail. Actually, I do use Photoshop when I make thumbnails. Never mind. It's less work, let's just say that. Actually, it's not really that much work. Someday soon, I will invest in a electric screwdriver. But until that day comes, I'll deal with this. So how's your day been? Has it been good? Brilliant. Right, so that's done. And this sub is still okay. I almost blew it the time I tested it though. I'm pretty sure it started smelling really bad. Luckily it's okay. And if you haven't seen the video in which I almost blew this sub, check out that link. I'm actually pointing at my dick. 
So that should be just about long enough. I can probably extend this wire a little bit, but I'll check and see if I need to or not. On to the next bit. I wonder how smooth the transition was from the previous clip to this one, because this is day number two. Yay for migraines, yay. And same hoodie, um, this is a hoodie, it's not a jumper, it's a hoodie. The reason same hoodie, jumper, hoodie, is because this is not a fashion show. All right, so Casey Neistat has trouble using cameras. Okay, so this is what the setup is gonna be. There's nothing there, what am I doing? Hang on a second. This is what the setup is gonna look like. So I'm gonna have the sub placed there. Well, not here, I'm gonna place it somewhere else. Let's just raise the camera slightly. Raise the camera. And then this is gonna go over here. See that? Just about long enough. Just about long enough. How lucky am I? Unlucky because I suffer from migraines. And then this thing I made is gonna go on there. But I cut all. Well then maybe I can I can get this to stick onto there with some blue tack. The phone is gonna go here somewhere and um, plug into there like so. Now I just need to put this entire thing somewhere else. So we'll put this one here. And then this one will go on here, like that. So now it's just a matter of connecting these wires, putting the bottle on top, and I don't know why I'm explaining that, because you've already seen. Luckily the power cord is long enough. Bruh. Now we'll connect these, and this is gonna go here into the negative. This one is gonna go into there, I said. This one is gonna go into there, good. See, sometimes you just gotta repeat yourself and then they listen. This one is gonna go into there. And then this will go into my phone. Like us all. So now I place this here and blue tack this to there. Hopefully that holds. But first I'm gonna fill this up with some water and then I'm gonna blue tack the end of this so that the water doesn't come out. So hopefully this works. If it doesn't work, what a big waste of time. And I'm gonna upload this anyway, even if it doesn't work. Oh yeah, and to stop the water from getting absolutely everywhere, I've got this on the floor and a, uh, a black bag. I doubt it's gonna work that well. Hopefully it catches most of the water, hopefully. I can imagine this being a fail. Right then, let's get to filling this up with some water, shall we? Shall I? No, it's definitely we. Right then, so I guess another thing I could do is just bend that upwards, but I should really block that end. Filled it right to the top. And I wonder if putting, way well, hey, I tightened the top and it got a little excited. If you're gonna do this, you wanna be careful when you're working with water and electronics. So obviously that's gonna be common sense to most of you, but not everybody has common sense. I'm just gonna stick the blue tack on the end of this. And then I'm gonna stick this to there. And I can see a leak, it's leaking. Electric tape is no good for non-electric use. Hopefully that stays. I've got to crack on with this because otherwise all that water's gonna leak out. Well, it's probably not, but um, let's get on with it. I think I need to take the lid off. And I should have done this outside. So attempt number one was a bit of a fail, but now I know what's gonna happen. I've got backup for when the wetness arrives. Also, peanut is in the house. Okay, so this is actually attempt number two. And if I edit it to make it look like attempt number one, then you will not know. What the hell? Russian hacker, what do you think of this? So amazing, isn't it? I don't believe my eyes. Actually, my eyes are okay. I don't believe the camera. Isn't that crazy? Ooh, and look at that, it's going backwards. Backwards. Mm. Anti-gravity. Anti-gravity. Although I guess it could be fake, but it's not. Because um, my floor's getting f***ing soaked. How cool is that? So cool, isn't it? 
I love that experiment. That's so awesome. Look, totally not fake. Totally not fake. Ah, uh, see? Cat's not interested. Yeah, I could have done this outside, but the weather's unpredictable. You're gonna start drinking from that, aren't you? It's okay, take a drink. Have a splash. Splashy, splashy. Poor Prince. Paw prints everywhere.